name is Sigfrid Anderson. I started up this company in 1986, KF Anderson Leadership Academy. What we'll focus on here is one thing and one thing only, and that is the practice of elite team leadership. It's not team leadership, it's elite team. So how to build up an elite team in leadership and how to use your leadership skills for that. Uh, sustainable growth increasingly comes from talented team leaders. And that is exactly this what we are going to across here, but to make uh, it very clear from the very beginning and not to elaborate too much about the misunderstandings in this, I would like to say a few things. The implications of groups, teams and team of teams, let me elaborate a little bit about that. Groups is primarily uh, built up upon, upon uh, management, uh, when we use management. Uh, teams is mixed up upon uh, <coughs> leadership, and this up here, team of teams, is purely a leadership. Just to make this clear. So when we're talking about leadership and team leadership, and <coughs> when we talk about team of teams, we talk about three different things. So top down here, bottom up here, and across the company up here, all over the place. And I'll come back to that later, how we actually do that. Uh, sustainable growth increasingly comes from talented teams, and that's it. Uh, in this place here, we are trying to aim at elite team, and for that reason, we will also see different results from what we have seen in the past. Remember from module one, I talked about one-to-one -one results, that was management. When we multiply that with four, one to four up here with pure team, lead team leadership, and then we then take the next one up here and take the next step forward to ill leadership is uh, <clears throat> one to ten. So one to one, one to four, and one to ten or more. And that is what we are aiming at here. I would like to say a few things here as I said at the module one, uh, the difference between the purpose, the goal, the means, and the consequences. Many leaders, they don't know what to focus on because for the concept of the business model, they get it wrong. Because when you tell a middle manager leader in the middle of the organization, even up to the executive level of the organization, what is the goal for, uh, goal for this company? They come up with their growth, they come up with increasing uh, revenue and increasing profit and increasing a uh, hundred other things. But that is a result of doing many things right, a consequence of doing many things right. And that means that can't be the goal for the specific jobs. For that reason, when we now talk about the purpose for when we build up teams and team leadership, we talk about the purpose like this. Create customers still and be their preferred supplier. So there's a little twist and a very essential twist on this creating customers. We want to keep them. We want to be the best, the preferred supplier for them. Whatever happens, we will make it. This is a little bit different from the past because we're now talking about the elite teams, meaning a leadership. And for that reason, we gave this twist up here. The goal for team leaders, that means your job, being a leader of a team, is this one up here. Build an elite team with stones that fit and with wings to fly high. What do I actually mean with this? First and foremost, you have to build that team so it makes sure they absolutely stand on the same foundation, singing from the same hymn sheet of what, uh, about what and all this is going on with here in this company. And then, give it wings to fly. That means that we're now working one primarily on what I call their creativity, their creative intelligence. But when we talk about team leadership, we even give that a twist. Because the means here is to activate, remark that, to activate the team's six dimensions of intelligence. On the other one, I talked about your six dimensions of intelligence, but now we talk about the team's six dimensions of intelligence. That means that each and every individual, 10, 15 people in the team, when we take that creative intelligence together, something unique has to happen. And that is what we are working on. So we are working on something very unique to happen. 
Otherwise, we'll not get the one to ten up here as a promise you. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So activate the collective creative intelligence. Remark, activate the collective means each and every one's, the team's creative intelligence. We expect something extraordinary to come out from that. On the module one, we discussed this about how to, to get in touch with that, your best self. I also showed you how to do that. You're probably trained that many times since. What we are discussing now is to do exactly the same thing with the team. That team might be from 4, 5, 6, 10, 15, 20, 25 people. For that sake, even more. But it demands more from you as a team leader, as the population of your team start, uh, increases. So, collective creative intelligence. So, can we really take this up? to a level where everything becomes limitless and effortless. And that's exactly what we want. We don't want to make it difficult. Because if something is difficult, there's something wrong. We are either not skilled enough, or there's some, what I call, mental uh, immune system is too strong. They don't want to change. Either their attitude, their behavior, or learn more to get sure that we get it right. That's up here. Then we also have to activate the dynamic intensive energy in that team. This might be hard to control, but let me tell you a few things about energy. Energy is actually polymorph. Polymorph, what does that mean? Let me illustrate that. Water is polymorph. You can find water as ice, as water, and as steam. If you take the lowest one, the one with the lowest energy is ice. The one water flowing all over the place, uh, two things in that. First and foremost, all over the place. There's no direction. It means there's no intention behind this energy. Another thing is that water always try to jump over where the fence is the lowest. That means the water always run down. Steam. Steam you can get in whatever temperature, temperature you want. Millions of degrees, no problem, it can easily do that. So the highest energy is contained in steam and the same thing here. What I want you to understand is I want to create a collaboration and a unison atmosphere between these guys so we're actually able to control the energy level from the very bottom where people don't do the right thing, where they are sad, Number two, where they don't have any direction, and to the number three, where they have an exactly one direction where they have to burn off all the energy. And that is exactly what we would like to do here. To be able to do that, we have to give them a task. There should be no doubt about what intention we are after and what we have to accomplish. And that's exactly this one. That means we start with a huge challenge, building the team's character. You know, there's no such a thing like adversity to build your character. And now we talk about an adversity, a huge challenge that is so big that we literally ask people to do something that's never happened before, they have never done before, they don't know how to do it, but they have to find a solution. That is these kind of tasks that we actually ask, ask them to do. Tremendous big. Let's take an example. A company who would like to save, let's say, $50 million. Uh, usually that comes from the top, I said top down. In this case here we do something different. We call all the people, collect all the people that have joined by module number one, put them in one room for two weeks and ask them to come up with a savings on 50 million US dollars without firing anyone and laying anyone off. How do we do this? To give them a task, You'll get surprised, two weeks later they come back and they have savings of 80 million dollars. That's exactly what this is all about. That's a challenge here that is so big that when they get it, they see we can't do that at all because this is so unbelievable difficult to do that and in the end they come out with something that's much better. This is how this works. And you can imagine what kind of task you have in your company, chances that you have in your company, things that 
problems that have never been solved because first and foremost they were so interesting but they were also very difficult uh, to get along and for that reason you never start doing it but now after this module time has come to get it done and that is this one up here the next one here is to activate the glorious feeling of accomplishment care teamwork joy and fun this has to be joy and fun, as I said up here, you know, order and deployed it. It has to be fun, and it has to support life, and if it does that, just continue. Based on these three up here, it should be difficult to get this, but remark one thing. I want people and the team to have the glorious feeling of accomplishment. That means this up here, the huge challenge here, can't be big enough. There's only limits. The only limit it has is your imagination. So what do we want out of this team? And they will get it done and, and deliver that. With joy and fun. Remark that. Timely search for beautiful ideas and solutions. So what is a beautiful idea and this timely search? You know, time has come now. Or is it tomorrow or when is it? It's not in the past, but we have to decide when we will go for this solution and try to find a way how to do it. So we time the search for beautiful ideas and solutions. And what is a beautiful idea? Very interesting. Let me define that one more time for you. A beautiful idea always is defined by a, <coughs> a tribute to joy and life. It can't be elsewhere. Either everyone would like to do this. The last one is to activate, the last sixth intelligence here is to change us, activate changes, overcome adversities, and get things done. This is the execution one. Talk has to stop. If this team continuing talking, 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 you may restrict them. And you can do that both with time, you can do that with the allocation of money, you can, with the room that they have, or whatever. As any, any um, restriction that you, uh, that you can come up with it goes right into this. The point is, we want this done now. Not next week, not tomorrow, but today. This is something that you decide as a team leader for this elite team. It demands a, a few things from you, but I'm quite sure that here on the module two, we will, I will teach you a couple of things that will be very useful for you to do this. How to do that. Remember, create value for customers. That's a, that's a reason why I do all this. So it also had to be fun and joyful for the customers. So what are we doing? So uh, <clears throat> that was it. The consequences of all this, when we do all this right, then we get all this over here. And the consequences of this, doing all this right, is first and foremost, the time for practicing elite team leadership has come now. That means when you leave the training on a Friday afternoon at four o'clock, you start right away, building a team wherever you come. Remember, on a train, on the flight, or wherever you are, you can just start using all these tools that you have, that I'll teach you uh, on, on the train. First and foremost, these four things deliver beautiful, unique breakthrough achievements. It's up to you and your imagination, your company, to discuss what that could be. You have a team, you're responsible for a team, a department, or maybe a business unit, or maybe a whole company. It's up to you to, deci to, to decide what kind of achievements you want to see and get it done. And people say, come on, that can't be done. That is not true. Some of these companies I worked for, let's say the SP group, they had increased their share price with 2,000 times or more, exactly more than that, but 2,000 times in 10 years. If you had told me, if I had told you 10 years ago that this would happen, you would say, I'm crazy. No, 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 no. Everything can be done. It's just your imagination. We do the same thing to any company in this world. Another company I worked for was Amber. Same story. Take any of the other companies I worked for. In the past, 
when Mr. Muller was there, the Merck AP Muller Merck Group, what they accomplished in his time and in the assertive exercise was absolutely outstanding. If you had tell, told people that up front, they don't want to listen to you because you are fantastic. Not fantastic, but they're fantastic. But that's a different story. The other thing you'll get out of this is the most important customers are impressed. People in general are inspired. By working together with you people from your team, your company, your department, your business unit, that is the outcome. Another outcome here is the outcome set a new standard across the industry. Your competitors, they don't know what you're doing and they can't copy you because they don't know what you are doing internal to get this done, what you accomplish every day. So for that reason, you set a new standard across. And to be honest, I teach you one thing. You don't need to compare yourself to competitors. You literally hate to be in competition because you are outstanding. I call it second to none. That means one thing. There's a long distance down to number two. So you literally don't have any competitors. That is what we want to get out of this. Set a new standard across the industry. Then we want also to satisfy the CFO. Exponential sales, spectacular products, and phenomenal outcomes, results, and brand. That is what we actually, in the end, get as a result. Remark, this is not a goal. It's, it's the results of, it's the outcome of doing all these things right I have talked about now. To get this, you just have to do one thing. You just have to go into kfanderson.com slash booking, book yourself a place, seat on one of these trains around the world, maybe you take a colleague with you, two or three, you're welcome. If you show up more than one, well, I will give you a discount and uh, we can take that over the phone later or over email. But first and foremost, remember, elite teams are high-spirited. It's a different company we are creating. I wish you a really good day. Thank you very much for listening to me. We also have one, two, three. I'll come up with that uh, three. I'll come up with that later. But thank you very much. I want you a good day. Thank you.